Hello and welcome to a new video. Today is uh, April the 22nd uh, in 2020, so we're in the middle of Corona lockdown. And as you can see, I'm not in my workshop at the moment. I'm trying to move uh, as little as possible. But nevertheless, I, want, I wanted to give you a quick update on the elect electrification project of my Renault 4 CV. And I'm really hoping that you're all doing good in the, in the meantime. So what happened? I think one of the last times we saw each other was when I explained to you that we have a bit of problem with uh, the connection between the gearbox and the motor on the Renault 4 CV. And in the meantime, I've been very busy in uh, constructing and engineering a solution for that problem and uh, the whole drivetrain is ready now for install and I have it here uh, outside for the moment. Uh, the next video will be about the install in the car then but uh, this is the first fit to see if everything would kind of work as expected and I wanted to uh, walk you through the different uh, components of my solution and uh, yeah, I just turned the camera a bit so you can see the whole thing and I will walk you through the different uh, uh, components here. So on this side here, we have a gearbox, which is very similar to the one of my 4CV. That's not the actual one, it's a very dirty one, it's an old one. And this one here is from a Renault 4. Uh, technically, it's uh, the same gearbox with just uh, very little uh, differences to the 4CV. So as you can see, the gearbox survived quite a long time. Um, as you can see here, that one of the differences is where the, this is the, the gear shift, which will connect to the long, to the long um, stick, which will protrude then from the, from the dashboard in the Renault 4 CV, which is a particular uh, feature of the Renault, uh, of the Renault 4, sorry. Uh, so this is a Renault 4 uh, gearbox just to show you because the, my actual gearbox of the Renault 4 CV is already built into the car so I can't show it uh, here but technically it's the same. So the problem with this gearbox is that it has no clutch bell as I told you in the last video. So this is kind of the end of the gearbox and this will be the gearbox cover on this side. It's just a bit open now for you to see and you can see the input shaft going into uh, the gearbox there. And on the other side, we have the electric motor, which is uh, the Femia N50 D1. On this side, the motor would be finished here with an output shaft on the other side. And what would be missing is the whole connection between the motor itself and the gearbox on this side. So I had to construct uh, all of this, which technically is uh, the clutch bell housing. As you can see here, uh, this is the, 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 the control lever of the clutch. So if I press on the clutch pedal, I would move uh, this lever here and uh, uh, I would disengage uh, the clutch in order to change the gears here on the gearbox side. So what I want to show you is uh, how um, I constructed this, uh, this, this whole unit. And for that, we will take it apart to show you a few features of the whole uh, thing. So I will now take uh, the gearbox uh, back a little bit. It might, it might even fall. So as you can see, that's the input shaft with the spline there uh, going, going into, uh, into the clutch. And uh, the thing I won't be able to show you today is that I had to put, um, uh, um, let's say, a pilot bushing on the motor output shaft in the middle of the motor output shaft to take in the input shaft there from the from the gearbox side i will push this out now so that's the gearbox there with the input shaft this would be the cover of the gearbox going on here and what i will do is i will open my transfer box here to show you how it is made inside so I just unscrew these two here. I just have one hand, so bear with me. Might fall off now, but it doesn't really matter. Let's see if that works. We'll be able to open it. I might have to get a tool for that. 
It's going to be stuck here. Oh, it's, it's opening now. Okay. So these screws hold the, the whole uh, box together. There will be eight of them around. Uh, so basically we have this cover here and uh, here you can see how it will work. Uh, this is the, the, the axis that controls the clutch. This will push out uh, the clutch here and as you can see the flywheel and the clutch are mounted on uh, the motor output shaft there. Uh, there is an adapter plate uh, or, or, or a, a connection plate, a connector on the output shaft and in the middle of the output shaft and you can't see that here now and I can't unmount the whole thing here would be um, a, um, a pilot uh, bushing to take uh, this part here of the of the input shaft so that will be in a, in a, in a bushing and then here the the spline the spline part here will will go on on on, on this uh, on this part here from the input shaft and uh, th this is the control arm for for the for the clutch here so that's the custom made uh, that's the custom made um, gear let's say clutch uh, housing and it took well it would I think it would be easy to construct for somebody with a technical engineering background but uh, I'm, not, I'm not from an engineering background so it took quite a while for me to come up with a good solution um, on how to integrate uh, the arm here as you can see I had to take it out here uh, in order to accommodate the arm uh, I had to drill all the holes here to, in order to attach uh, the cover on this side here for the gearbox and uh, I had to calculate all the right distances that the, the motor and the gearbox would still fit into the car and here on the back uh, it's also that's a custom made uh, mounting bracket for uh, the motor and uh, we will see that in the next video how we will integrate the whole uh, motor and gearbox assembly into the car so that was a quick update on the status at the moment i will now uh, mount the rest of the of the unit here, load it into my car, bring it to the Renault 4 CV and uh, hopefully this week we'll be able to mount the whole drive unit into the 4 CV and that will be kind of a bit, big step and I'll be back to you then to show you how, uh, if everything fits, that's the big question and uh, if everything will be working fine and the next step then will be to go on with the further components like controller uh, charger batteries etc will st still take a bit of time but uh, hopefully we'll get there so i hope that you all will stay safe and healthy i'll be back to you soon and in the meantime wish you good time and check back again later bye bye